for is that it does have this really deep experience system. And as you're leveling up, you're going to unlock new stuff uh, for your weapons. So, so you're going to have a lot of different challenges with specific weapons, like kill 25 people with an AK-47. And once you do that, you'll unlock a new scope for your AK-47. Same thing with the MP5, same thing with pretty much all of the weapons. And then there's other challenges such as, you know, can you destroy a helicopter? Can you call in an airstrike? Those things all earn you extra experience points, and sometimes you'll unlock new skins for your weapons, stuff like that. So you can really have these really nice personal weapons that sort of talk to how much you've played, you know, with the shotgun because you love it so much and it's really tricked out. So the other good thing about earning experience is that you earn perks and for your class that you create you can choose three different perks and perks will be things like having a two-shot RPG, uh, having C4, which C4 is you can throw it out onto anything and you can detonate it and you can even switch to your weapon, double tap, reload and then detonate it remotely. So you don't have to be just walking around with the detonation trigger waiting to do it. You can actually go out and fight and even detonate it from the other side of the map if you feel like it. So other perks will kind of help uh, the power of your weapons. Like there's a perk called Deep Penetration which will allow bullets to travel faster through objects. So it helps you if you're somebody who you know loves shooting through walls, uh, Deep Penetration is really going to help because your bullet's going to come through that wall with greater velocity and will hurt people more. Uh, you can also just uh, have straight up uh, stopping power which is more bullet damage. You can add more health to yourself which uh, basically means it'll take somebody one extra shot to kill you. Uh, you can also do a perk which uh, probably is going to be a favorite of a lot of people called Last Stand. And Last Stand means that if you're basically dead, you'll be frozen in place, you take out your pistol, and you can just keep shooting. You can keep shooting as long as you can manage until somebody, an enemy, gets one bullet into you. So it just takes one shot to kill you, but in that time you have a chance to take out other enemies, which is great because somebody could have hit you, you're stuck there, you get out your pistol, and right as they're coming up towards you, you're lying on the ground, and you just get a few shots into them and you take them down as kind of like one last resort. You also get a bonus for doing well during a game. So once you get three kills in a row without dying, you're going to be able to call in a UAV. And that's basically a floating satellite that can look down and uh, has a radar for your enemies. So it'll show where your enemies are. It lasts for about 30 seconds or so, but it's very helpful. Because normally, your enemies only show up on the radar when they're firing. But this way, they're, they're stuck there, so you can really organize and, and plan out your attack. Uh, once you get five kills in a row, then you can call in an airstrike. And an airstrike will bring up a map of the whole level, and then you basically choose where you want the strike to go. Now, if somebody's called up the UAV so that they can actually see where everybody is, you'll know exactly where to target. And as an enemy, when you hear an airstrike called in, you actually hear the uh, planes coming in before they come and drop the bombs. So you just see people scattering trying to get undercover, because obviously, if you're in a building, you're going to be safe. But if you're out in the open, you're probably going to get blown up. And all of those kills, by the way, go to the person who called the airstrike. So not only are you, you know, getting your kills for shooting people, but if your airstrike kills people, you get those points too. When you get to seven kills in a row, you get your final bonus uh, in a game, which is you can call in a support helicopter, which is just brutal. The support helicopter is AI manned, and it just flies around the area shooting people with a machine gun. It's very hard to take down. In fact, uh, there's only two smart ways to take down one of these babies. And that's to shoot it with an RPG or to fire at its tail wing. Because you take out the tail wing and it'll just spin out of control and blow up. The good thing is you get 250 experience points for blowing up a helicopter. The trouble is it's really difficult to do and very often uh, nobody does it. it. And the helicopter will stay around for about two minutes just killing people. So you just see your score slowly racking up if you manage to actually call in the helicopter. What's great about all of these things is that UAV, the airstrike, and the helicopter force people to change their strategies, both on offense and on defense. And it just adds an extra level of depth to the game. And Call of Duty 4, with its deep experience point system, uh, the perk system, uh, the upgrading of weapons, and then the different airstrikes that you can call in, really creates a rich, full experience, unlike anything we've seen in a console first-person shooter. The beta is coming out very soon. Unfortunately, not as many people will be in the beta as we're in the Halo 3 beta, which was close to a million people. There'll be far less in their experience in Call of Duty 4, but for those lucky few who get in, I'll be seeing you online, and then you'll be seeing me through the kill cam.